Hello everyone, welcome back to part two of The Rocker. It's been a little wait, so thank you so much for those of you who've been waiting for part two. Uh, part one, if you didn't watch it, is it's been rotting away in a garage for 50 years. So check out that video to see the first part of this restoration. Uh, stay tuned because the rest of it's even better. So enjoy. So Laura has finished the weaving. It looks really great. Here's the seat all completed. And the back's looking really great as well. She did a really, really nice job. Just love how she pays attention to so many details in her work. So I've got the uh, rocker taken apart here. We're ready to re-glue. I took the chance to sand all the pieces again and and uh, get them ready for the last coats of lacquer and a little bit of color work on the repair areas. So I've uh, decided to use hide glue for 90% of the glue up here. The arms will need epoxy because um, this joint here that goes down into the post um, was pretty beat up and I just wanna make sure this never comes apart. So we'll be using epoxy on these joints only, but the rest of it will get hide glue. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I've got it warmed up here. Got my little brush ready to go. I'm just gonna start getting glue and everything and we'll get this guy put together and in clamps. So let's do it.
Okay, so it's the next morning. Let's get these clamps off and see how she rocks. All right, there it is, actually put together. So um, I'm gonna clean up a little bit of glue. I'm actually gonna saw these off flush. Um, I didn't have, I used mushroom plugs because I thought that's what was there, but then I remembered, wait a second, they're flush plugs. So I'm gonna cut those off flush and smooth it out. And a little bit of sanding where these join. There's just a little couple of chips here that we puttied, so I'll sand those smooth. And then we're also going to fire the uh, cane because there's a lot of hairs and, stuff and fibers that are loose. So we'll get a torch and fire that, but a good test of a rocking chair is if you rock it and it doesn't walk across the floor. So I'm just watching to see if it's moving. It looks really nice. Yeah, so it feels sturdy, feels good. Everything's looking really lined up and perfect. It's come a long way. So let's get those details taken care of and get it back to the finishing booth.
It's finished. Long journey on this one, but it is looking fantastic. I love this chair. I think the scale of it and just design, it's even comfortable to sit in. I think it's just a great chair. And bringing it from where it started, it's a miracle. So you can really see the beautiful weave contrasting with the natural maple that we did tone a little bit with a natural toner, natural maple toner. Got a little bit of a lacquer sheen coming off that weave now, so it's really beautiful. You can see the back too that we sealed. And Laura's done a really nice job of cleaning up all of the loose ends coming through. Really, really great job. So we stripped this thing down, sanded, prepped, uh, repaired this arm piece that we've got blended in now. Uh, we did repairs on both of these attachment points. They were broken. Uh, both of these guys were needing new dowels put in. Uh, Reglued the whole chair, a lot of sanding. Um, here's the flush pup plugs. They're here, as well as on the back for the arms, flush plugs on both sides. And a lot of touch-up work, toning, three coats of lacquer, and it is finished. So sorry it was such a long wait for part two. Um, this stuff takes a long time. And I've been working on two very big projects this one and the clock, which is almost finished. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, but I really appreciate you guys sticking through um, times where I can't post as much as I do other times and being here for a video when it pops. So thank you so much. Um, if you wanna buy me a coffee because you enjoy these videos, I appreciate that so much. It just helps me to be supported while I make these videos for you to enjoy. So thanks and cheers everyone.